We also spoke about taking the three forms of chords. For instance, if I'm playing something in the key of G, I'm going to use this E-shaped G, a D-shaped G, and an A-shaped G. Then when you go to the four, which you mentioned yesterday, which in this case would be C, these are the shapes that remain. The same three shapes that have moved around. So you mentioned yesterday you were playing on the key of C, on the E string root. And then when you went to the F, what do you do there? Well, you use the tops of these chords as well. The goal is to see if you can use the tops of all these guys and glue them together. And then when you go to the four, then back to the G. Hopefully that's useful to you, because I think that what we're doing now is that you're finding that you can play with E-formed chords or G-formed chords really easily. But when you get to the A string root, which makes it a C-shaped chord or an A-shaped chord, you need to do the same thing. So uh, I want you to use these three shapes and see if you can try them out.